fractals have very interesting mathematical properties. One of the most interesting is the fractal dimension. To understand this, we first have to revise dimensions. A point is zero dimensional, a line is one dimensional, a plane is two dimensional, and a body is three dimensional. If you have a line segment of length one, you can divide it by three and you get three equal segments or three to the power of one. If you multiply one segment by three, you get the original segment back. You can do this with a square as well. You divide both sides by three and then you get nine copies. Um, and if you multiply one square by nine, you get the original copy there. You can do this with a cube as well. And then you get 27 or 3 to the power of 3 um, cubes. So this is called self-similarity. And you can summarize this in a table. You can see that the exponent is also a dimension. So we can say that the number of copies, n, is equal to 3 to the power of d, where d is the dimension. With logarithms, we can get the d on its own. So d is equal to log of 3 n or d is equal to log of n divided by the log of 3. Now let's see how this works with fractals. I will show you an example. It is called the Cantor set. Imagine a line of length 1. You take out middle third and you get 0 to 1 third, 2 thirds to 1. You take out the middle third of the remaining thirds, you get 0 to 1 9, 2 9 to 1 third, and keep doing this infinitely. What happens is that you see the pieces keep getting smaller and smaller. And if you keep doing this infinitely, the total length removed becomes equal to 1. But still, all the points are there. But there is an infinite amount of them. The dimension of the Cantor set is not zero, because an infinite amount of points form a line. But all the points are disconnected, and the length is zero. How can this be? It means that the dimension of the Cantor set is somewhere between zero and one. This is a fractal dimension. How do we calculate this? If you look at the table, we know that n is equal to 3 to the power of d. Let's look at the line segments. We see that each iteration, we get two self-similar copies, but we have to multiply it by 3 to get the original segment back. So, n is equal to 2. So, 2 is equal to 3 to the power of d. So, we can see that d is equal to log 2 divided by log 3, which is 0 0.63, etc. And so we know that we can say that the, for any fractal dimension, d is equal d is equal to the log of the self similar copies divided by 
the law of the multiplication factor. Next time I will talk about the Koch snowflake and the fractal dimension of something like a country. Thank you for watching my video.